What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. PNW Card Collector here back with another video for you. Today we have the Boombox High End Baseball. This is their high end, uh, you know, or what they call the high end Boombox. They do have um, one tier lower than this. This one's uh, about $104 shipped, um, almost $105 after, you know, after shipping and tax and whatnot. Um, and they have one a little bit lower than this. I think it's the standard. Um, and they also have a build your own boom box. And they have two higher than this. They have the Platinum and the Elite. The Platinum, I believe, is $149 before shipping. And I think the Elite is either $200 or $249 before shipping. So um, I've been doing the high-end boom box for... Oh little over a year i want to say probably 14 15 months now it's a fun you know it's a fun product subscription box when i first started it i think it was 70 bucks might have been 60 bucks i can't remember something like that but uh it, so it has gone up but of course over the price of packs so i don't blame them. um i you know i'm just not sure on the value anymore um so I, i've been tossing it back and forth do i want to keep getting it do i want to uh, you know cancel the subscription we'll just see here soon uh, depends on the on how the value goes this month they are running an Acuna Junior ticket promo um, I have not been lucky enough to find one of the ticket promos yet last month I think was the Tatis um, let's see so we should get these are your guaranteed packs you're guaranteed I think it's six to ten packs per box and these are the ones that you're looking for here so you got 2021 finest uh, 21 or 2021 top series two jumbo uh, Bowman hobby Bowman chrome from 2020 Bowman draft from 2015 which is probably one of my least favorite packs um, just because it's so hard to to uh, read the names and whatnot and get some of these packing peanuts out of the way here last month they had ben baller in here which was pretty cool so here's our series two jumbo looks like a series one hobby pack there here is our tops finest from 2021 that's a cool pack our guaranteed bowman pack bowman chrome there's our draft again not my favorite that'll probably be the first one i open or open then there's a opening day and maybe that'll be the first one and a Bowman draft um, first I have not opened this pack or this product so that's gonna be a fun rip and then we got a pro mold 120 point screw down and our empty box so no Acuna ticket that's okay again I don't I haven't hit one yet and they're pretty rare. Um, they do put, I believe there's 10 in the um, high end, then 10 in the elite and 10 in the platinum. Only five in high end. So 25 total. And every ticket, every person who finds a ticket is a winner, but you know, I'm sure they sell a couple thousand boxes. So, you know, the odds aren't great. So let's see here, we're gonna save 2020 Bowman Draft. We'll do, let's see here. I'm gonna save Finest for last, I think. Um, let's do it in this order, right here. All right, let's get into it. Now that we're already four minutes into the video, um, on that, you know, if you go back, if you want to pause, it has all their social media contact stuff on there as well. The um, OriginalBoomBox.com is their website. Blake Snell, Joey Bart Rookie, Nelly Cruz, Corey Kluber, Eduardo Rodriguez, Blue Foil of Ahmed Rosario, and Legends of Baseball Stan Musial. Those are fun cards. Um, I definitely, I would say geared more towards kids. Uh, I want to say a um, a hobby box of those when they first come out is only like thirty bucks, and then I think it 
it jumped up, I want to say, to 50 bucks this year for a hobby box, which is pretty cheap. You're not guaranteed any hits or anything, so it is pretty cheap for a hobby box. Again, I think it's geared more towards children. Uh, we got Jacob Nix here first. Javier Medina first. This is, oh, there's another Javier Medina. And this is one of the reasons I'm not a fan of this product. On the base cards, those names, unless you get them in the right light, they can be really difficult to read. On the chrome, they did it right. They made them white. You can read them. But uh, we do have a teal in here. We've got Alex Young. And then Braxton Davidson. The teal is numbered uh, 55 of 150. So cool to get a first or a numbered first. Again, Braxton Davidson. Uh, Carson Sands and Travis Newbick. Not familiar with a lot of these players. But we did get a chrome first. And actually, most of that pack was firsts. One of our chrome wasn't, and one of our base wasn't. That's pretty cool. That doesn't happen very often. Usually, it's uh, the other way around. You know, especially in the newer Bowman product. Seems like a lot of times now in the new Bowman, it's you know one or two first per pack at best. All right, we got Sunny Gray, Buck Farmer, Aristides Aquino. It's so weird to see these guys without a rookie logo. Uh, Jose Arquiti, Daniel Johnson, Vladdy Jr., Jesus Aguilar, Jake Odorizzi, Bryce Harper, Kirby Yates, uh, Nats. White Sox, post game hand wash, and Cody Howard. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. All right, so we got a one in 3.3 chance, one in three and a third chance of getting a hit out of this. The jumbo boxes have three hits. You get a manufactured relic, a, I don't know if you want to call it a game used relic because they're not always game used, but a relic of some sort and an autograph per box. And it looks like we do have a hit in here. It's pretty thick. It's probably one of the manufactured relics, if I had to guess. All right, Jake Cronenworth. There's a good rookie to look for. One of the top ones to look for in or look for in series two. Uh, Jose Barrios, Clark Schmidt, Dominic Smith, Jake Woodford, uh, Anthony Rendon. Back and forth. James Paxton, David Peralta, Chris Bassett. Renato Nunez, Corbin Burns, we got Luis Alexander Basabi, I'm not familiar with that name, Alex Sevilla, Garrett Crochet, Kyle Hendricks, Alex Dickinson, Fish Out of Water Gold, that's kind of cool, I've seen this card before, I've never seen it in the gold though, then we have a gold foil, uh, the gold here is numbered uh, 1398 of 2021, as all golds are numbered out of that year or the particular year set all right so we have eddie rosario gold foil and then we have one that's flipped over backwards here that might be a short print uh, let's see your gold foil can go there and i don't want to spoil the relic so let's just do that we'll look at that george springer one last uh ricky henderson that's cool throwback Debbie Garcia, uh, Hyunjin Ryu, Jason Hayward, Austin Slater. Oh, I started putting stuff in the wrong pile. Chris Sale, Will Myers, there's a Andrew McCutcheon, James McCann, Walker Bueller, San Diego Padres, Estevan Florial, Rafael Montero. Mickey Moniak, Dalton Jeffries, Trevor Bauer. He's got a YouTube channel and he is hilarious. I love watching his channel. Great content. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. Taylor Widener, Luis Garcia, Jordan Weems. And then here is our short print, George Springer. I'm not used to seeing him in a Blue Jays jersey. And our hit is a Tristan McKenzie rookie card logo patch. Again, this is a manufactured commemorative rookie card 
logo patch. Um, these are cool. Definitely better than the ones that you get in the blaster boxes. So I will take it. Again, manufactured, however, you know, I, I kind of wish they'd just quit doing the manufactured stuff. They're, I don't know, not, not necessarily super desirable. But Tristan McKenzie, he is a fireballer for sure. That guy could throw like nobody's business. All right, let's get into Bowman. Let's see if we can end this video before the 15 minute mark. Probably not. Vladdy Jr. starting us off. Lou Bob, Freddie Freeman, Tanner Houck, we have a pink in here, and an Atomic. So let's go to the back. Jason Rosario, Nick Bitsko, Casey Martin, there's our Tanner Houck, our pink, J.D. Martinez to 299, Matt Manning for our Bowman Chrome there, right there. And our Atomic, not a first, Jordan Westberg. Atomics are not numbered, but they are definitely cool. Has that kind of sapphire look. I just got, uh, I was in a sapphire break a while, well, I don't know, a week or so ago, and I got one card in the break. And there it is, James Beard. I actually opened it before I started the video there, but that was my one card from the break. All right, let's get into this. Bowman Draft First Edition 2020. Again, this is my first time, I believe, opening this product. I don't think there's any chromes in this product, um, but we do have a gold foil. It's either gold or yellow, so let's put that on the back. Got Tyler Brown, Brennan Davis, Evan Carter, Justin Foscu first. Oh, that Evan Carter was first also. Jackson Coar, Logan Gilbert, Bailey Horn, Dwayne Acker, first there, Tanner Burns, and not a first, Quinn Cotton. It is number 65 of 75. Google, uh, that might be the yellow variations. It's kind of weird, they had a sky blue, a regular blue, a yellow, a gold, um, orange, pink. I don't know, a whole bunch. All right, let's get into Bowman Chrome. I really like this product too, 2020 Bowman Chrome. These ones here are one and six chance. I don't see anything real thick in there, so this is probably a base back. Might have an insert. Uh, Nick Solak, rookie. Do have a refractor. Uh, JD Martinez. Alejandro Kirk. Wander Franco, there's a nice one. We'll set him in the good pile there. And our refractor is Sam Huff. Okay, and our last pack, Top's Finest. This one here is also a one in six chance at an autograph. And nothing thick. So no autograph this time. That's all right. Frankie Lindor. Jacob DeGrom, Legacies. Uh, with Tom Seaver up there. We have a Masters. Uh, Carlos Correa. Gross. Um, Matt Chapman and Jose Abreu. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, looks like we did end it before the 15 minute mark. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Hit the thumbs up button below the video as well. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card was. You know, was it uh, was it the Wander? That's a nice card. Uh, I can't sleeve that up yet. I need to hit it with a, a microfiber cloth. Um, it's got some stuff on it. But anyways, was it uh, Wander? Was it Quinn Cotton out of 75? Or the J.D. Martinez out of uh, 299, 160, 299? Maybe the fish out of water? Or... Maybe it was that manufactured relic. I do like these. Again, it is one of the nicer manufactured patches. Um, but, again, they're not guaranteed to be game used or anything like that. It's just a commemorative patch made for Topps Baseball. So, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.